Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new uh, Flashback Icardi SBC. Uh, right off the bat, we are going to be giving him an engine chemistry style because the card is actually formatted in a way where he actually looks like a very good physical type striker. Now, the thing that I'm hoping for is that his movement is similar to the Flashback Murata because if it is, then it's going to be a cool physical type striker. So, 5'11 height, medium, medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. In game player traits, he has the outside foot shot trait and the power header trait. But take a look at his in game attributes. So, the only shots that he's not necessarily going to be the craziest at is going to be long range efforts, which I genuinely don't care about because most of the shots you're going to be taking is going to be inside the 18 yard box, uh, especially if you're kind of forcing certain runs out of the card or you want to dribble with him in certain ways. The reason why this card looks so sick, guys, is because. If you give him an engine, yes, the agility is going to be at an 85, but balance 98, 99 dribbling, 93 ball control, 98 reactions, 95 composure, like all of those dribbling sets with the engine chemistry style looks really, really good. He's also going to be working with 96 acceleration with 94 sprint speed on an engine, which is very solid. But even his shooting is at 99, 96, 94, which is incredible, right? Base card stats for passing is good for short passing, not in long passing, which again, not a big issue because he is going to be mainly playing in the striker position. Uh, and then last but not least for physical stats, the card has 90 strength with, let's see his body type, a unique a unique body type, okay? That's good. Because Marata, the reason why he actually performs really well is because he also has a unique body type. So unique body type, but it has to be like a good one, obviously. Unique body type with 99 jumping and 95 heading accuracy. So yeah, it's not necessarily a meta card, obviously, because he's a physical type striker. So by default, you know, but he could still be very, very good. Uh, so the way that we are going to be using a Cardi in the team is mainly going to be in the 4 one 2 and 2 as you guys know. So we're going to go ahead and switch that to 50 and 60. Balanced, balanced, forward runs. This on 50. This on 5. And we're going to switch some players here and there. With a Cardi, we'll be using him in the left striker position to test out certain shots. Awar, Draxler. Yeah. Okay. And then the instructions going to be stay back. Stay back. You are stay back, cover center. You're get forward. Yep. And you guys are on balanced. Balanced because we need to test out attacking AI. Mbappe, Mbappe, I don't have to test out anything. I know he's a beast. So if a Cardi moves well with Mbappe, that'll be really, really sick. So yeah, let's go try him out. This card looks really interesting, man. I, I hope he's good because uh, you guys know I like flat. Like Flashback Morata is not like a crazy meta card either, but I really enjoy using him for what it is. That's supposed to be on defensive. There we go. Ooh, Icardi? You gonna make runs, Icardi? Oh, okay, okay, hold on. You know what? The dribbling is actually not bad. Ooh, that base card stats for shooting. Yo, let me see this. It goes through the defender, but that's a great finish, man. Oh, more power, more power with him. Okay, more power with him. Oh, hello. Let's see this. Oh, he does have really good jumping, guys. So it's actually worth going for the headers with him for sure. Dude, his physical is actually nice. I was just holding all trigger. It's actually really important to test that because you need to see how they control the ball under pressure and stuff, you know? So with him, guys, uh, it's not a Murata media medium, like in regards to the way that he moves attacking AI wise, like he's very like target man and run oriented, which I actually think works really well for a card like this, because look at his positioning right now. It's actually pretty solid, but he's like closer, you see. see? So Mbappe is obviously like he's got crazy attacking AI, so he'll make that run, but then Icardi will do it there. And he stops once I get to a certain position, which again, makes a lot of sense for him. See how he comes close? Oh, his shooting actually comes off nice. That's a long shot too. This one, I expect him to run. Yeah. Get a touch maybe. Dude, that's a really good shot considering he's coming off of the touch in a really heavy way it's not bad
That's a white time shot, but he has a really good dip on it, considering the fact that he's coming off of a run. Those are less consistent, guys. Not a bad strike either. Again, a low percentage strike in those areas too. Ooh, that's a crazy header. You're gonna make the run there, right? Nice. Manual goalkeeping, nice. Yeah, for him, it makes sense, guys. The, the way that his attacking AI works, it definitely makes sense. It's patterns of play that you notice with these types of players. Like with Flashback Morata, when I was doing that foot chance video, I was like, oh, I love it. Like for him, it, it just works so perfectly. Because it always depends on the card, right? Because it's all other attributes too with the dribbling and stuff. It's uh, the way that you position yourself on the pitch, the way that your center mids and stuff are moving. So like over here, you expect him to come close. See, I'm not calling that. That's him doing that. That's a white time shot. Still pretty decent from that distance as well. So I expect him to make a run here too, which he does. Good. I like his dribbling, man. For a physical type striker, guys, it's really good. All of those stats being in the high 90s is compensating really well for it. Yeah, so that's long range efforts. So the long range efforts, I do expect a little bit more inconsistency with the shots, obviously. Okay, quick little dribbles. Now I expect him to make a run in the middle. Beauty. Oh, I have to shot cancel. Oh, I might be able to... Oh, yeah. He's good at jumping in the air, so I was like, you know what? I actually might be able to get that. Oh! So, again, if you uh, want to play against that attacking AI that he has himself, you could totally give him, like, a get him behind instruction or a get him behind stay central, and it actually work out pretty well, too. <sighs> Do you guys see his shooting? When he's like literally you notice it the moment you get inside the 18 man you have to get inside the 18 for those strikes to really come off like that look look, look, look where he's positioned you see oh that would have been a good strike too good block uh does he have the injury prone trait injuries in fifa hey i appreciate them taking out stamina but they gotta take out the injuries bro okay so we're gonna do this time Right, it's because now that we know what his base attacking AI is like, we're gonna go ahead and give him getting behind. Killing Mbappe, you guys can see constantly the runs that he makes. It's just so obvious. I'm enjoying the card so far, to be honest with you guys. Um, it's not bad for what it is. Like, you, you have to obviously kind of like adapt your game style to kind of how cards play a little bit. Like, again, I do prefer Murata's media medium uh, over this Akardi's media medium. That's just personal preference base. But you guys can clearly see what his attacking buildup is like with his own media medium. Now we have getting behind on it because I want to see he often moves like to the sides, the middles, like what kind of runs he makes. Does he play against his attacking AI a lot? Oh, I didn't score that. No way. I didn't expect to get the ball like that, but you can even see that in a situation like that, his dribbling actually does come off pretty well. Oh, he misses that one? No chance. That one I feel like he would have scored, but again, I didn't green it, so if you don't time your shots, there's always that gonna be there's always gonna be that inconsistency, right? See? Responsive man. Not bad at all. I don't know what just happened right there. Ariola did, did did some super, super sus stuff. What I'm going to do, guys, because of the fact that he is physical, um, I'm actually going to give him getting behind. So, guys, do you guys remember when I reviewed the Draxler card in the attacking position, how I told you guys that he actually has, like, pretty aggressive attacking AI in certain positions? If you play with a card like a Cardi and you play him on base instructions, no instructions, right? You'll just notice Mbappe and Draxler actually being the ones that make those runs often. That's what you'll actually notice, right? So that's why it's important to kind of know how each player plays. And that play style that Icardi would have 
would actually work out really well with players like Mbappe and Draxler next to him. But I just want to see how he plays with uh, State Central getting behind. Do you guys see Draxler? That's what I'm talking about, dude. And that's him in the cam position. Look, his dribbling comes off great. There you go. Well done, well done. Look at Draxler. Right? But I have the instruction on Cardi now, so when I go into these positions, he'll do that run, see? Oh, the touches. Cross it! Yes! Oh, imagine. Oh, I should have gone far post. I don't know why I went near post there. Near post is not a flex nowadays. Oh, that would have been sick. Oh, I have to go for it. You guys know, man, if the ball's in the air like that, I got to go for it. No, the interception. Look at how aggressive Draxler is, man. My goodness. I always, guys, I hate forcing instructions on strikers like I, I i love to just play them how they're like kind of like meant to be played i hate getting behind i want to play to natural base mechanics with them you know oh i put way too much power on that without timing as well my bad my bad yeah I figured that once I had the ball there, I had to go for the cross. I think it was going to be super obvious that he would probably score that. Penalty? Oh, okay. When, I, when you do the skill move, your player puts his foot ahead of the ball, right? So if he commits a challenge, you get the, you get the pen for it. 91 penalties with him. Nice. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new flashback Icardi card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, uh, you know, we wanted to give him an engine chemistry style to test out his dribbling with the way that it's set up everywhere else. His dribbling, guys, as a physical-oriented striker is very good, to be honest with you, right? It's actually coming off really nicely. And I feel like for a card like this, it actually works really well because let's just say... For example, right, let's just say you wanted to rock with uh, Kareem Benzema and Fakir as your striker and your cam, and you know that those two have crazy attacking AI. Icardi's medium medium does not perform the same way as a flashback Murata in regards to how he utilizes empty space. But what you do with Icardi is that you can actually kind of make him the player that creates the open space for everybody else, kind of like a Kareem Benzema in real life, right? So you could see that at some point in the review, I just kind of decided like, hey, give him basic instructions. I know that Mbappe and Draxler do these killer runs. So that's what I'm going to work with when it comes to using Icardi in the team. Because for me personally, I hate forcing instructions out of the strikers because I like to play them from base characteristics unless I really need to force it out of them, right? With him, you just play that play style with him. Uh, inside the 18-yard box, as you guys know, finishing is going to be pretty random for the most part anyway. So you do have to try to time most of your shots anyways for the consistency, regardless of the fact that his finishing is set up really nicely. His 99 attacking positioning as a medium, medium work rated striker, like I said, is not necessarily like Murata or Murata utilizes certain spaces uh, really quickly. Uh, but again, his is very like target man oriented and then make runs in certain areas of the pitch if your players are kind of, uh, you know, situated in certain areas as well. You know, like you'll see in moments where if I'm dribbling back with Mbappe and there's a certain space there, I know when Icardi is going to open up that space for himself because of that medium medium that he's working with. But then I also know that if I'm building up, you know, on the edge of the 18 yard box just outside, he'll come close to me and then push forward, which again is not a terrible thing to work with. Do I prefer Morata's attacking AI over his? I definitely do 100%. Uh, but again, it is a very authentic and cool way of dealing with it. But for the meta of the game, Maratas is better, I do think, right? Um, 
the shooting, like I said, inside the 18, you got to be uh, as uh, lenient as possible when it comes to, you know, timing your shots and stuff, because it's always going to be random for the most part. The pace is cool to work with for the meta of the game. But like I said, even in the build up play, he'll come close to you and then push forward. Right. So you kind of have to work with the other attackers around him. Uh, to be honest with you guys, as an SBC, I genuinely don't mind this card for 209k because one, the links that you can work with is very, very cool with the PSG Argentinian links, the League One links. And I, again, this is always personal preference based with attacking AI. I actually think the card is really cool to use. I do. I, I genuinely believe that. Uh, again, don't expect them to be like a crazy meta card, but super, super fun to use for the meta of the game. You just have to work with the attacking AI a little bit if that's not what you like the most, right? So um, I don't mind the SBC. I genuinely don't. I think he actually performs really, really cool in game. I think it's a great SBC. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dude. Says dribbling surprised me. Well, it didn't, it didn't, because the dribbling is in the high 90s for certain areas, which compensates so well for it. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.